Hello, I'm Rocky Gilbert, one of the operations chiefs for the Great Basin team here to give you an update on the Swan Lake fire. So our firefighters continue to focus on protecting the uh, communities of uh, Sterling, Kenai Keys, and Cooper Landing. Uh, over here on what we've called Division Charlie on the west side of the fire, uh, we continue to have crews uh, in this indirect uh, or this direct piece of fire line that's between the, the highway and Skelac Lake Road uh, continuing to uh, cut hot material and separating the hot and the cold, um, creating a, a large fuel break with hoses in there, continuing to spray into that really deep duff, uh, trying to you know, put out fire, uh, keep fire from being able to sit in there and smolder, especially along the lines uh, closest to, to those communities. Uh, they've still got a lot of work ahead of them, but we've got over 100 people in there working, trying to ensure that this western uh, line uh, is secure. They do still have a little piece of uh, what we call an unburned island, so some unburned fuels. It's uh, in a little ways, a fair distance from the line, but again, from things we've seen, they're, they're focused on that today and trying to ensure that uh, what's going on in there is not going to threaten their lines with the upcoming wind shifts that we're looking at. But they feel pretty good about where where everything is, they, they know where it is and they've got a plan to, to deal with it. Uh, within the rec area, we continue to have uh, firefighters in there looking at all of the campgrounds, public use cabins, uh, all the structures that are in there, the boat, boat launches, uh, and making sure that fire does not impact those things. People are hiking into engineer cabin. Uh, we've got a boat going down to Derosion Bay to look at that cabin, uh, running sprinkler systems as necessary. Uh, to make sure that all those things stay protected. So again, we haven't had any, any damage to the infrastructure for recreation uh, inside the uh, Kenai Refuge. Uh, moving over onto the east side of the fire, we continue to have uh, firefighters working up the uh, eastern side of the fire, moving south up the mountain. Uh, their ultimate goal is to try to tie their fire line into Surprise Creek, uh, which is roughly here on your map. Um, the rest of this stuff is up in a high enough country that we, we won't be putting uh, firefighters up there just because of the distance and ability to get the firefighter out of there if a serious injury was to occur. Uh, but again, they've got Sawyers in there cutting stuff up, we've got pumps in place, multiple, uh, multiple hose, hoses, and uh, they're, they're feeling pretty good about the work that they've got in there. But again, with some winds, we're concerned about trees blowing over and some of the hazards that they're going to be exposed to over the next few days. Uh, we've also continued to have some uh, firefighters working off of the Fuller uh, Lake Trail. Uh, they're continuing to do some mop up on the edge. Uh, they're closest to the highway, so mop up is taking the hoses and spraying out into the duff and trying to put fire out. Uh, and then moving <coughs> up into where we've had the most fire activity the last few days, although it's been very mellow. Uh, with the cloud cover and the, the difference in temperatures as we're starting to have a little bit of a change in our weather. Uh, but fire has continued to move south off the west side of the uh, Resurrection Trail. Uh, it's fairly high up on the hill. Uh, we're unable to get any firefighters directly on it. But we are working some cr a crew up in there today uh, to be able to monitor and come up with a plan if fire does uh, come down towards the trail. We've also had uh, four firefighters that have been we've been keeping out at the cabins. Uh, I believe they're staying in Trout Lake Cabin, but they're looking at the uh, couple other cabins that are on Juneau Lake. Um, they're continuing to monitor fire as it comes towards those cabins. Uh, same thing, starting up sprinkler systems and putting out fire as it gets close to the defensible space they've created around those cabins. So, still got that, uh, that operation going on today. Uh, the rest of the firefighters are focused on um, the contingency line, which is this line that goes around the community. Uh, they've also created some dozer line out here on the very east side of the community over the last 24 hours to help protect those folks if something was to come, on up, come up and over the mountain, uh, which should be fairly unlikely given the size of of the mountain that you've got uh, right there behind your houses. Uh, and then the, the uh, structure protection group continues to learn what's going on, where the houses are within the communities. They worked through zone three a couple days ago. Uh, they're working through zone five now. 
and they'll continue to assess and, and come up with a plan uh, in case fire does come and encroach Cooper Landing. We still have avi aviation assets available to us. However, they've been smoked in. Uh, a couple of the problems that we're running into is our hella base is, is back in Sterling. And sometimes when that's got good air so our aircraft can take off to go support this, these guys are smoked in. Uh, and other times when the wind's blowing out of the east, the airport is smoked in, but we have clear air over here. So it's kind of trying to figure out the way for those aircraft to get in and out of the places. That's our update for today. Thanks, Rocky. Mm -hmm.